Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is the Grandstream WP825. Now, this is the second time that I have recorded this video because after we recorded this session or section and then I kind of tortured the phone a little bit, I decided, you know what, let's go back and change it a little bit. So this is it. This is the Grandstream WP825. Is this the most... I don't know. Is this the toughest pure uh, Wi-Fi SIP phone on the market? Maybe. Um, and why do I say that? Well, wait till you see the videos of the things I did to it. And it is looking like brand new. Now, there was one part of the other video that I uh, am going to stick in there. And that's where I peeled the uh, plastic off of the screen. Because I know everybody loves it when we do that. And what's... What's funny is as I'm shaking this phone around, uh, little little bits of water and everything are are coming out of the the hidden nooks and crannies, and you can kind of see, um, you know, that it's got some damage. I mean, I've dro I dropped this thing several times. You're only going to see me drop it once, but I dropped it on the, some of the, my social channels too, and uh, so it's gotten kind of dinged up. But it's taken you know falls from seven feet, uh, and it's perfectly fine. So the water is actually coming out of the speaker still, but it still works. All right, so WP825, let's talk about it. Uh, Wi-Fi 5 or 802.11 AC compatible. It can have two accounts. Um, let's see. It does have Bluetooth, so you can connect to headsets. Has comes with a rechargeable 2,000 milliamp battery with eight hours of talk time, 200 hours of standby time. It does have a configurable talk to push button. You remember the old Nextel days where you could uh, key up a phone and talk? So you've got that there. On the bottom, you have a charging port. Um, and you'll see uh, in some of the videos that loves to come open. And the uh, headphone jack loves to come open when this thing, I think the pressure inside of it, you know, I hitting it with my hand, all I'm doing is getting water out of the speaker. Uh, well, that came up a little bit there, but uh, <clears throat> I'm going to let it dry out for a few days. But it is uh, waterproof, dustproof, and drop safe from two and a half meters or eight feet. So, uh, and they also say uh, in the in the guide here that you can take this down to the operating uh, temperature is zero to 45 degrees Celsius. So we'll have to do a conversion. Hold on a second. All right, so that's uh, 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you have a storage temperature of negative 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. So let's see what negative 20 uh, Celsius is. Is negative four degrees Fahrenheit. But I will tell you that I stuck this in the freezer. You'll see, I stuck this in the freezer where I make uh, my ice and uh, left it in there for a couple hours and uh, the screen didn't want to come on but after it thawed out here we are still working so uh, what else do we want to know about this real quick before you see the videos it's uh, antimicrobial I think that's how you pronounce that right um, it is also supposed to be um, like chemical proof but I don't know oh no I'm sorry cleaning chemical resistant so it's IP67, waterproof, dustproof, cleaning chemical resistant. So probably bleach, um, a dilute of bleach, probably not straight up 100% bleach. It's got the antimicrobial casing and is drop safe. So uh, I have been using this. The audio quality is, is great. Um, so without further ado, let's... Uh, Let's go take a look at uh, some of the uh, torture tests. Not really torture tests, but some of the the tests where uh, they're like, "Oh, it can fall, it can get in dust," and uh, you'll see you'll see exactly what we did. If you're wondering what I'm doing with this bag, it'd be a lot funner if there were books in it. But uh, what's in here is the WP825, um, and this bag I've been shaking it for a, about five minutes is full of dog hair and dust because the phone is supposed to be uh, dust proof. So I'm gonna dig around. Oh, that's nasty. But we live with dogs. And uh, here is 
Here is the WP825. Now I need to take it outside to blow it off uh, because I'm working on this other project over here. So uh, let me go do that and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so I uh, cleaned it up as good as I can with the paper towel. I think I'm gonna have to do the water challenge here, but uh, let's see if it works. All right, looks like we're dialing. I put the speakerphone on. Thank you for calling Willie Howe Technology LLC. Your networking, voice over IP, yep. and secure. Sure is working, and all the keys seem to work. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, can keep on keeping on here. All right, so before I take this in and do the water test, this is about four feet. And there it is. And uh, every time I drop this thing, the headphone jack thing comes out and the uh, charging thing comes out. But let's take this up. I'm going to reach this all the way up above my head, which is going to be about seven foot. They say this is good to uh, two and a half meters, which would be six feet. So I'm just going to let it go and we're going to see uh, what happens. All right, it bounced a little bit. But uh, let's see, we got a little bit of damage. Every time I drop it, it takes a little bit of damage. But I'll tell you what, these port covers really like to freak out. I don't know if it's because of the pressure on the inside um, or what. Now our volume is all the way down. Um, we have to definitely make sure those port covers are closed when we do the, uh, the water. But uh, yeah, we got a little, little marring here. But let's see. 60048. Let's see if it works. Yep. It sure does. All right. Water torture test and then uh, freezing. All right. Here we are. I'm going to run this under the water. Get it all cleaned up from all that dust and dog hair. And uh, still looking pretty good here. I don't know what kind of torture we've got to give this thing before it gives up. Let's see. Now the, the speaker's a little muted, but it is full of water, but it is working. So that's just a... But this is, We're just running this over the surface, right? So let's put the old stopper in there. And let's fill this sink up with a high quality H2O. We'll be back in a minute. All right, we're starting to get submerged over the device. So I just hit the button and there, yep, screen comes on. So let's uh, dial. See what happens. Call there. Speaker on. It is working. So now there's about an uh, inch of water on top of it. And uh, it is continuing to work and to dial. And if I let go of it, it's semi, it's semi buoyant. Um, it's interesting to see how the, the water is affecting the Wi Fi. All right, you can actually hear it really well under there. Let's try this again. Okay, we're under the water here. Thank you for calling Willie Howe Technology LLC. Your networking, voice over IP, and security expert. Oh yeah, not too bad. Press one there. And you can see that we are uh, completing the call. So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry out uh, before we do a freeze test. Definitely, definitely want to let it uh, dry out. But now it's at least clean from the dust bath. So <laughs> we'll be back. All right, so uh, here's kind of my last test. This is uh, the freezer. This is where I make uh, all my ice cubes. So I've got square cubes back there. we got 
perfect round ones here. We've got uh, some little ones here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this phone right in here and uh, we're going to leave it in here for uh, two hours and uh, come back and see what we've got. All right, let's see. It's been uh, over two hours in the deep freeze here. And, uh, uh oh, that may have done it. So it's in the deep freeze. Maybe it wasn't completely thawed out. So, uh, let me see if we can turn it on. Let me see if it just turned off. Oh, it is going to turn on. It's good. You can see we got frost on the screen there. So, the freezing it after all that other stuff, the freezing it is what uh, has got us kind of held up. But uh, I'm going to let this thing warm back up to room temperature and we're going to see what happens. Alright, so I've let this thaw out. So uh, let's see what happens. Looks like I'm getting a white screen there. Typically, what it looks like before it boots up. See, oh, there's the Grand Stream logo. This is a good sign. Now remember, I had this absolutely frozen in here, and it was not, we would get the white screen, but it wasn't booting. But I let it thaw out, and here's kind of a little teaser. I actually let it thaw out for a half hour last night, and uh, it booted, but I immediately shut it off because uh, I just wanted to see, you know, what, what was happening. So let's see. So, yep, so it is booted, and it looks like it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi and register the uh, extension. Extension is now registered. So the volume is a little low. It did get turned down, but uh, let's see what we've got here. Yep. Works like a charm. So if there's any other um, kind of environmental challenges you'd like to see, see me do with this phone, just uh, let me know uh, in the comments. All right, so that is it. If you uh, like those tests that we put the phone through, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on the socials, which are posted down below. That'd be Twitter and TikTok. Our affiliate links to support the channel are all below. And if you need IT consulting for voice over IP, networking, security, storage, all of the things you see here on the channel, reach out at willyhow.com. Click hire us or contact us. Fill out that information and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you. Thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.